heading uh, to do Ellen's show on Wednesday and it'll air on Thursday. And if you've ever seen Steve on Ellen, it's a house of fire, boy, because hello, all so kinds of things going on. Got everything on, so. out today and uh, and we're ready to go. So kind of fun. And this is something we've never done on TV. This is a new de this a, a, a neat new demonstration. Uh, next 60 days, we're bombarded with food. We're going to have antacids uh, at, at, our, at our disposal. We're going to need to talk about acid reflux and heartburn and all those other things. So I thought I'd combine two experiments to kind of uh, understand the science. Does this behind. represent a stomach? It will, a very large stomach. Yeah. So, but before that, take a look at this. I have a bowl of, um, this is pickle juice. It's called calcium chloride. Oh. It's the main ingredient in pickle juice. And this, we used to play with at Halloween. This is called, see this kind of gel? It almost oh, yeah. looks like... Um, Shampoo. Yeah, so, this is yeah. called sodium alginate. Sodium alginate comes from a sea kelp. And cool. so as soon as this touches the liquid, watch what happens. As soon as it touches the liquid, that's all we need. Perfect. <gasps> Reach in there and find it. Little pieces, little pieces. Oh, little, oh, look at this. <laughs> watch this, watch this. It's, little worms. Yes, if you string it like this here. So does so the pickle juice do that or does the... Does the uh, it's the calcium in the pickle oh, juice I that cross-links it. So look at this. See these worms Those are that are there? Great. Isn't that the greatest? And they glow. They're like, they're like phosphorescent, are Well, that's aren't they? because we just came out of Halloween. So we've been playing with these alginate worms for years and years and years. But look at how quickly that works. Got yes, it? Yes, that was great. fast. All right. Yes. So, Think about that. This is how gummy worms are made, oh. right? So they oh. use sodium oh. alginate oh. for gummy worms oh. and so forth. Okay. So let's pretend like this is your stomach. Okay. And in your stomach is stomach acid, so I put some hydrochloric acid in here. Oh, okay. And All to right. that, we're going to add some Gaviscon. Okay. Is that an antacid? It's not an antacid. Oh. This helps heartburn. Now, there's oh. another version of it that's an antacid, an antacid uh -huh. and helps with the heartburn. But watch what happens. When I pour this inside here... So this is like you're drinking Oh, it, more right? gummy worms. So you get worms, which yes. is a fantastic thing. So take a look at this. Here are the worms. <laughs> God, you should probably not drink that whole bottle. You see how that no. works? But watch what happens. What's amazing here is that you see the bubbles that are starting to come off of this? Why, yes. <gasps> Bingo. So here are the bubbles. And so now literally the little worms start to pick up from the bottom here, what we played with before. Oh, here they come. They start to work their way up. So you see how it's oh, coming up here on yes. the side? Oh, and yes. Oh, yes. So these start to release and start to work their way to the top. Oh, look at how they start to float. Sakes, there they so go. what they call this is a raft, and so the sodium alginate forms this little raft that will start to float. And as the raft starts, to, oh look at here they go on the oh, bottom. Yes, See right, how this yes, kind of takes really off? Beginning to act yeah. Right there to the, yep. So now as this starts to take off, it forms this uh, layer that at the oh, very top. Here they here. go. See, look at this, look and at that, that layer there now forms a seal against the esophagus. So now the force of the acid in the stomach can't push up and get past that point. <gasps> but look at this. See how it just kind of takes oh, off? For uh, here it goes. There there it oh, is. Oh, how cool is Tell that? Tell me oh, that's look not at neat. That. So it's like these floating worms. And who would have thought that that's what they would use? So they've got to have carbon dioxide released to be able to raise it up to the top. It's like the perfect science experiment that is in a product. That is amazing. Isn't that, that amazing? Whatever you do on Ellen on Thursday, we'll, we'll, we'll try to duplicate here in the studio. No, perhaps. we will not. Yeah, no, no. Oh, no we would have to have a special permit. Not enough fire yes. equipment. Yeah, well, but anyway, yes, yes. watch on Thursday, and we'll, <laughs> then we'll you know, kind of get an idea of how that all happened. Thank you, Science Guy. Look at this. We'll be right back. More worms still floating. That is cool.